Hello my dear friends, welcome to IMS GATE Academy. You must be knowing that GATE syllabus have been released. You can say updated syllabus have been released by IIT Roorkee, which is the conducting IIT for GATE 2025 and we are here with it, right? Now, as far as the syllabus is concerned, we are finding no changes as such in the syllabus, right? So, whatever has been in 24 remains the same, right? So that means we can expect first of all it relieves you that from the fact that there is no some added topics which you have to you know prepare from uh, you know from, you know some extra whatever you have been preparing till now you have to carry forward with the same that is a good news for the aspirants. Now you can see here I will be briefly talking about the syllabus over here that what are the mo most important topics that have been coming till now and that will be coming you know in the gate 2025 as well. I will be starting with maths. You must be knowing that maths is having a weightage of 13 marks. My dear friends even if you are starting it right now you can do well in the next 6-7 months and that is the agenda of today's video. Right. So, I am going to tell you that what are the important topics on which you can focus mostly and from now suppose even if you are on zero what should be your briefly your strategy what should be your rough rough strategy that I am going to talk about. My dear friends see one thing one thing which you will agree with me is that we should never leave the easier subjects the subjects which are scoring the subjects in which we can score in by less number of you know revisions also those subjects we should always focus and suppose some tough questions also comes in the examination we should be able to give it a good try that should be our focus right and for the first the first subject that comes to my mind you know after listening this is engineering maths which comes for a weightage of 13 marks is 13 marks is not a joke. 13 marks is a very good marks and we have to focus now linear algebra if I if I just circle out the important topics from where I feel that at least one question is there that is the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Calculus you know that double integrals are the most important the double integrals improper integrals most important topic of calculus and obviously limits con continuity differentiability you people have been studying since childhood and now also you have to carry the basic concept in the examination. Vector calculus obviously the theorems are very important you can always expect one question from there. Now differential equation 2 to 3 2 to 3 marks of questions you can expect from here especially the especially the you know the higher order the, you know the second order differential equation one question you can always expect. Complex variable one question on complex integration will always be there right you can either sol solve it by residue theorem or you can solve it by you know the Cauchy integral formula but one question of complex will always be there probability statistics yes it will also be there and random variables and the distributions are very important. So overall math is very important but what makes it a good subject an easy subject is that once you read the topics in a flow if you complete the syllabus comprehensively after that it is all about practice and you can just do so well in very less time in this subject okay that means you will be getting the confidence in this subject numerical methods and one thing my dear friends one thing in mechanical recently I have seen questions from numerical methods also and Laplace transform also that means people will think that sir let us cover only the big big important important chapters and let us ignore this but no my dear friends numerical methods Laplace from all these topics questions are coming here and there. So please do not leave and good thing is that easier questions are coming that means once you read it you will you will be able to solve the thing right. So moving moving ahead on the you know the applied mechanics and design as I said the syllabus more or less are same only. Engineering mechanics you will find for 4 marks, SOM you will be finding for 6 to 7 marks, theory of machines you will be finding for 8 to 10 marks, 8 to 10 marks and vibrations of course you know including vibrations and machine design you will be again finding for 3 to 4 marks obviously on any particular day the weightages may you know the marks may vary. Now what I feel is that 
the design section should be relatively towards the end of your you know preparation list now while i'm saying is that why i'm saying is that because strength of materials carries a weightage of 6 to 7 marks that's an easy subject that's a, that's a scoring subject you should be able to do well over here but suppose the tough questions comes of engineering mechanics a tough question comes from vibrations it will be nearly you know even if you have not uh, if you have not an in-depth understanding about the subject it's very tough to replicate that on the examination day right so you are getting my point so from the design section you should first target the SOM because six to five to six marks or six to seven marks is there and it is very much scorable right so this is about SOM so first you target about SOM and then you can go on for TOM or engineering mechanics but SOM say you know you can expect easier questions coming to thermal portion my dear friends thermodynamics is a very scoring subject and this year also 2024 also if you have done if you have prepared it neatly you will be able to score it rather than than fluid mechanics so over there i saw i told you in the design section that som is very scoring so first you prepare som and then you focus on tom and mechanics over here you first cover thermal and for what weightage the thermal will come the thermal will come for a weightage of 10 to 12 marks i am saying 12 marks entire thermal will come ht will come for 5 to 6 marks last year it was for 8 marks so ht and thermal ht and thermodynamics are very very scoring subject my dear friends and if you can focus over here you will be able to do good now first focus over there and then you focus on fluid mechanics because fluid mechanics if a very difficult question comes it will be nearly impossible to replicate that on the examination day right so similar story that first som then tom mechanics first thermal ht then fm right because why i'm saying this because these are scoring subjects once you cover this now you will say sir so much syllabus are there in thermodynamics how will i sir all are interrelated once you focus on the first law second law once you cover the BTD, that is the basic thermodynamics in a good manner, its applications will be able to relate after, you know, in the ATD, that is the applied thermodynamics where you will be studying refrigeration, power plant and all those things, right? So, uh, FM I have not written, but FM is 7 to 8 marks. FM I have not written, but it is 7 to 8 marks. Obviously, it may vary, vary on any particular day, right? Sorry, okay. My dear friends, I am seeing that in production, questions are relatively coming trickier than that have come in the previous years. So obviously, you cannot leave it. If you talk about the weightage perspective, it is, you know, something around 17 to 18 marks you can always find in the production part. You cannot leave it at any cost, right? So you have to do good over here. You have to cover all the topics and just expect, just hope that on that day you get some doable questions, some easier questions, right? Uh, you know, when you start seeing the solutions of the, you know, the production uh, questions, you will feel that it's very easy. But the way questions have been framed, students can very easily get frightened just by looking at the language of the question anyway so i will say a mixed approach keep in this you have to do there is no uh, choice for you to leave so we have to do it anyway from where you should hear what you can target is the what you can target is the you know the industrial part that i was saying the industrial the industrial part which comes around you know uh, 5 to 6 marks on an average, 5 to 6 marks on an average that you can target because once you read the topics, very easy questions, either it will be very difficult which you cannot solve or either it will be easy, straight formula based that you can solve it under a minute also and I am saying this from the experience of the last two years as well, right, last two years only. So over here, you know, means all the topics are, you know, more or less important only, so cover the industrial once once you cover industrial after that you no need to go ahead, means uh, again and again just you can focus you can practice revise this through the test series so industrial is done so cover industrial means don't leave these are the easier subjects now specifically which i'm focusing on the subjects like industrial like thermal like ht like som and maths and aptitude all these are easier subjects do not leave these subjects at any cost my dear friends 
right because if you the subjects that i have told it will comprise of 40 to 45 marks if you do good here only you will be e easily able to score around 40 to 50 marks in these subjects only right now coming to you will be saying sir you are do, do you mean to say that we should leave tom we should leave fm no one thing that we learn from the past years is that we should not leave anything comprehensive preparation is the only way to go ahead that being said that being said you cannot cover fm let's say some student decided to cover fm tom mechanics and then he leaves ht som and industrial the easier subjects that is not acceptable right so do not leave the easier subjects focus more on the easier subjects in case if you have if you don't have time you can skip some one or two subjects i'm not saying it depends on for example md you can leave fm you can leave that depends on you but try to cover all the topics number one cover everything focus on the easier subjects and even if you start from here and if you focus only on the important topics then also you will be able to score at least 50 to 60 at least 60 from you know in the next yeah, by the next six seven months of preparation right so i'll be F, i'll be keeping it short only details detailed strategy about how to go about each and every topic will be uh, coming soon but let's keep it till here the conclusion is that no again i'll be repeating no major changes have been seen in the syllabus and more or less the topics re importance weightages remains the same you just keep on your preparation and just if you start preparation from today also you will be able to do good in gate 2025 so let's keep it till here god bless take care goodbye